On the 6th of September 2013, along the usually busy Mamangina Street in Nairobi's central business district, a bank transaction took place at this Barclays Queensway branch, a transaction whose details police say could finally provide answers to the question, who are the masterminds of the tragic Westgate Mall attack? Closed-circuit television footage released by Barclays Bank showed these two men said to have come to withdraw money for the purchase of a second-hand vehicle they had ordered from an unsuspecting owner. The vehicle, a Mitsubishi Lancer with registration plate number KAS575X and which was paid for in dollars, said to be the same vehicle used by Al-Shabaab insurgents when they stormed the Westgate Mall on the 21st of September. The two men captured in the CCTV footage are youthful in appearance, with police estimating their ages as between 24 and 27. The first suspect goes by the names Hussein Abdi Ali or Abdullahi Dugon Subor, a dark 5'5 five five man said to be a Somali national and who, according to police, speaks broken Kiswahili. The second suspect has been identified as Abdi Kadir Haret Mohammed, who also goes by the name Mohammed Hussein, a light skinned five foot eight man said to be a Kenyan of Somali origin from Mandera. Police are urging Kenyans to be on the lookout for these two men who are said to reside in Nairobi's Isili estate and who could now be on the run, with Police Inspector General David Kimayu offering a reward of half a million shillings for anyone with information about the two men and or their whereabouts. In Mombasa, the threat of terror paralyzes activities at the otherwise busy Congo Ware market as residents stare straight into the face of it. This car is said to have earned Earlier in the day, forced its way into the market using the back entrance before it was intercepted by council Ascaris together with its owner. This even as another suspect got arrested almost simultaneously after he allegedly parked his vehicle at the entry of the fire brigade yard located in Mombasa Island, blocking the movement of vehicles in and out of the yard. A third suspect was arrested in Changamo yesterday with police investigating his activities which are suspected to be linked to terror. Police have also confirmed that the controversial Muslim cleric Sheikh Abu Bakr Sharif Makaburi will be summoned at the police headquarters Monday to explain why he interfered with police investigations at the scene of crime during the murder of Sheikh Ibrahim Rogo and three others. Evelyn Wambui, Sunday Live.